Hey guys, this is Snapcraft. What's going on? Welcome to the Midnight Cast. It's gonna be KCM 224, season 5, week 4. This is the third set, Bisu vs. Saxkri. At the two games, one Protoss, one turn, players have been eliminated. Zerg is still standing. And let me just quickly remind you of the progression of KCM after three weeks. Turn is leading with three points, Zerk with, uh, excuse me, Terran with four, Zerk with three, and Protoss with two. Uh, and I guess Terran is slated to have a very, very nice win today because they have the best Edo scores. Let me just make sure you, uh, you are convinced there. As you can see, Protoss average Edo scores is 1219, Terran is 1227, and Zerk is 1142. Uh, that's what we have ahead of us. Maybe the next thing I'm just gonna quickly show you uh, is the map information. So first of all, here is the map stat. We are looking at uh, Minstrel. Uh, this is what the map looks like, Minstrel. And it looks like for, is, oh no, excuse me, why am I showing Terran players should be Protoss vs. Zerg. That's right, for Protoss vs. Zerg, Minstrel is a good map for Protoss. 54.6% uh, win rate, and this will help Bisu slightly in the encounter here. Uh, Bisu located at the top left in the red color and his opponent is located at the bottom right in the blue color, red versus blue. Let me just remove this picture from view so that you guys don't freaking kill me. Anyways, we will have, uh, I think this is 12, uh, 12 hatch, right? Sorry, I was not paying attention. Uh, it will be a gateway opening from Bisu, so... Um, if I'm not mistaken, he would just, you know, fool around a bit here. He would not put down any pylon. Uh, but, you know, knowing that, shouldn't Sanskrit pull his drone back? Could there ever be a possibility where the Protons player is, you know, faking that he doesn't have the forge? But indeed he does. You know, he just goes and dances around but I never actually put down the, the pylon. And then when the drone goes away, then he puts on the pylon. Is that ever a real strategy in StarCraft? You know, faking that you're faking. I know that in the old days, you just have the fake, fake double build, right? You know, the, the original fake double is to fake that you go for double factory, but indeed it's gonna be one factory, some marines, and then quick expansion, right? And the fake, fake double is like just faking that. I, I, I don't even know what it means, man, because I'm not so good with negative, negative statements. Uh, anyways, the Zenarch arrived here. He's gonna hide in the corner. Uh, maybe the goal is to force the Zerling to attack into the third base, and then the Zealot will slip in, but it looks like the Zealot will go home. The Oblot completely sees the situation. Keep in mind that Bisu is the strongest player in today's lineup. I believe that is the case. As you can see, here are his ELO scores. One second, uh, I'm looking at it, there it is, e, uh, Bisu's got 13.99, he's got a very very high ELO scores, uh, and he's the fourth best player, and today Light is not playing, right, so no one can be better than him because Soki and Queen are not playing as well. So that's that. Uh, yeah, let's go back to this game. We will have Forge coming down for Bisu. As for Saskri, he has not yet put down the next tech of choice. He's gonna have to decide. It might be Zergling with speed, as the current commentator was pointing out to us. I'm not so sure. I'm just looking at the gas gun. It looks rather low, the gas gun for Saskri, so he uses gas for something. And it is gonna be Hydralisks. Okay, interesting. So that means that I don't think he went for Zerling Speed at all. I mean, why would you go for Zerling Speed if you're going to try to rush to Hydras? Keep in mind that he's got an off-center hatchery as well. So, I mean, this might be the reason why he's doing it like this. Because, you know, he would be very much, dis uh, you know, disadvantaged economically if he went for normal, you know, just pull and expansion. Okay, we have zero cannon for Bisu. He's so confident in his ability to micro his Zenot. Uh, and the fact that he might be able to wall himself in nicely, but this is gonna be a strong game. What is Bisu doing? Bisu is not going for the, he's not going for the Corsairs. This, is this a mistake? Okay, this is gonna be Corsair, excuse me, he's gonna be strong I thought he was just, you know, smoking pot there. But at the last minute, he is smoking something else, not pot, maybe cigarettes. Okay, Zerling speed kicks in now, and this prop will see that the Zerlings are very quick to attack the Zealot will try to drive the Zerlings away from the third base. At least he would try to drive 
drive the other Zerlings into the third base to defend here, and drones are forced to run away. So Misu knows that he's ahead because he's about to force these drones to distance mine. Now the question is, does he? How does he convert that into victory? Because he need to put down cannons ASAP. Looks like the Hydras are not revealing themselves. Um, just hiding out there, and the Hydra is going to start to move across, and Bisu's got a single cannon only. His target completes now, but he would die very quickly if he doesn't build anything. Uh, yeah, he thinks he's ahead because that hatchery is off center, but there's just so many Hydras moving across the map here, and Bisu's two Zenots are not being used at all. These Zerlings are running away. The Zerlings are out of position, and Bisu's not seeing that, and now he will see the Hydras. Now he will see the Hydras, and he's got to, you know, engage now. He's going to try to engage. The Zerlings got to surround from the back. We need to have cannons coming down soon, and how late are the cannons? Zealous are trying to come out, and he's going to try to get some drones. He gets one drone, two drones. At least that's going to slow down the economic power of Sasuke. You need to block the front with something else, because the Zerlings and Hydras are here. The drones are running away. Props need to hold. He need to block the front. He need to got everything. He's got Hydras almost arriving now, and he's going to try to hold. The Zealous going to attack, and why is the Zealous moving way too far forward? He's coming out, and one cannon is Gonna fall. The Bobs are trying very hard to attack it. That cannon has fall very quickly, and Bishu's will lose the game surely now. He one cannon is gonna fall, and that was a genius move from Sasuke. Very nicely done. Bishu, which is too confident in his ability to lead the game, and that is gonna lead into his demise here. Thanks for watching. If you joined this video, buy me coffee. Into that, it's gonna be individual. See you soon. Bye bye.